Hey there, you are watching Wimadet. This video is about how Lil Baby spends his millions. If you don't want to miss our videos, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post new videos. Dominic Jones, known best as Lil Baby, is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter from Atlanta. Jones is best known for his tracks My Dog, Freestyle, Yes Indeed, and Drip Too Hard. Dominic Jones was born on the 3rd of December in Atlanta, Georgia. When Jones was 2 years old, his father left his family. He grew up with a rough and tough childhood and funneled much of the pain in his experiences into his music. His father left the house when he was 2, leaving his single mother to struggle to raise them. This led to Lil Baby getting into a lot of trouble in school and him eventually dropping out in the 10th grade. From a young age, he learned to hustle and get money any way he could. In 2012, he ended up getting a drug possession charge with the intent to sell. He was eventually sentenced to two years in prison and he started rapping when he got out of jail. Lil Baby began his rapping career in 2017 when he dropped his debut mixtape, Perfect Timing. The album was a collaborative effort by all of Lil Baby's childhood friends and who worked together to ensure the success of the album. He later claimed that he and his team took just two days to come up with the mixtape. The mixtape took Atlanta's underground music scene by storm. The album was played in many pubs, bars, and cafes in and around Georgia. Lil Baby was highly praised for his music and most of his lyrics were inspired by the experience he had during his tough past and his time in prison. Lil became even more popular when he released his second mixtape, Harder Than Hard. The lyrics explain the psychological pain that he suffered because of his past. Some of the songs, such as My Dog, Ride or Die, and My Drip, went on to become chart busters. Lil Baby presently works for his quality control label, which he co-owns along with his childhood friends. Lil Baby is making plenty of money and wants to make sure his kids and family are secure for the future. Lil Baby presently works for his quality control label, which he co-owns along with his childhood friends. Lil Baby is making plenty of money and wants to make sure his kids and family are secure for the future. That doesn't stop him from buying what he wants. He tells that his favorite part about his whole thing is the money. As of 2021, Lil Baby's net worth is $4 million. Atlanta, between the summer of 2016. When the Atlanta rapper Lil Baby got out of prison on drug and gun charges and at the end of 2018. When he solidified himself as a formidable presence in hip-hop, he released seven full-length bodies of music, resulting in a pile of smashed singles that have gone platinum a combined 12 times over. Another day, another new post on social media about rapper Lil Baby and his funds. This time, he's seemingly reciting a sentiment he had in a song released earlier this year about 200 occasions. It's just the most recent statement that he has put on Twitter or another platform about pricing related to his work in music. The rapper is one of the biggest names in music and is arguably one of the most popular artists of any genre at the moment. His most recent album was released earlier this year and he has been much talked about. He's dominated the music scene in 2020 with his hits like Some to Prove, and the bigger picture. He's also been featured on hit songs like For the Night and You Played. Over the past several months and weeks, Lil Baby has had a lot of say about rates for his work, especially features. He first said that he wasn't doing any features at all. Lil Baby tweeted, I'm doing no more features unless it's worth it. I got too many. Still, many people thought this was a joke, given the fact that he told his label, Quality Control, if he didn't get 5 million, he would go back to hustling. This turned out to be a joke. He would go on to say, at this point, it's safe to say I want 100k for a feature. Lil Baby also admits he was affected by the pandemic financially, but he isn't stressed because he'd been saving his earnings. See the God asked the Quality Control Records artist how much he makes a show now, and Lil Baby replied, 400k. The radio host revisited his dollars amount when discussing how much more money Baby would have made this year, had the country not been on pause due to the combating of deadly viruses which we do not like to talk about that much because huh, it's very depressing. Baby says when asked about how much money he's missed out on by not being able to tour, I've been booked up to two to three times a weekend. Only did one show this year and it's been the end of the year. I did 1,000 shows maybe at least in a year. So it's like the whole year. I just did one this year. After doing the math, Charlemagne calculated that Lil Baby could have made 40 million this year off shows alone. On the low end, 100 shows are on the low end. The 26-year-old Rhymer adds, it's 50 weekends, that's like 2 shows a weekend. Lil Baby's price doesn't appear to be coming down. In fact, back in July, he said he's charging 100k for a feature. 
The ascent of Lil Baby coincides with the rise of melodic rap coming out of Atlanta. Before he was scoring consistent top 10 hits, artists like Young Thug, Quavo, Feature, and Lil Yachty had notch crossover hits with a warbled hooks between their verses. By the time that Lil Baby was released from prison in 2017 after serving a two-year stint for probation violation, popular music had shifted from where it was two years earlier. Hip-hop had become the leading genre of the streaming era, and songs like Migos, Bad and Boje, and Ray's Strummer's Black Beatles had topped the Hot 100 chart. When Baby released his first mixtape in April 2017, his mellifluous, high-pitched flow sounded both unique enough to stand out in a crowded scene which helped Inky deal with Migos home quality control music, and stylistically in line with his contemporaries. Some of them, like Young Thug and Lil Yachty, even showed up as guests on the debut project. A sneakily intricate rapper whose lyrics are often camouflaged by disarming sing-song flows and a gravelly southern drawl, Lil Baby has largely moved on from the open wounds of his earlier career. Bittersweet work but a push and pull between his rough-edged youth and sparkling new reality remains. No one finds success alone. The wealthiest people in the world always work with others, and everyone who makes it big needs a team around them to help them. For Lil Baby, it was Young Thug, Drake, and his team, Quality Control Music. The Atlanta hip-hop artist is providing 1,000 coats for the warm winter wishes, giving away that day at the One Pratt Park in Birmingham. For the event, Lil Baby has teamed with Birmingham City Councilor John R. Hilliard, who represents the city's District 9. Lil Baby hosted a similar event in Atlanta, giving away 2,000 coats in a partnership with the Atlanta City Council and MARTA. In a recent tweet, Gooder Chief Jasmine Crow said Lil Baby was planning 10 warm winter wishes giveaways in various cities. In November, the rapper issued a series of tweets that said 1.5 million in profits from his single, The Bigger Picture, would be used to help the needy. The protest song is linked to the Black Lives Matter movement. I got $1.5 million to donate off a bigger picture. I want the money to go where it's needed. Little Baby tweeted, I don't want to donate just any organization, but I will be letting my fans know exactly where the money is going. Lawyers, bonds, playgrounds, jobs, youth activities, things we can really benefit off of. That's it for this video. Which Little Baby's music item you like the most? Let us know in the comment box. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.